Good morning. So one of the things I've seen is that we have trouble sometimes on Delta Math. So I'm going to do one of each problem set to give you an idea of how to do it and to give you an idea of what the answer should be. So it says determine if the expression is a polynomial or not. If it is not a polynomial, state the type and degree of the polynomial. So we have w cubed x to the fifth square root six minus eight w to the fifth. Now, you see the square root, and a lot of you want to be like, it's not a polynomial. However, a square root of a number does not make it not a polynomial. It's just the square root of a variable. So this does, in fact, represent polynomial. The polynomial is a blank, so there are one, two terms, so it's a binomial. And then the degree, well, this term has degree 5, and over here, this term has 5 plus 3, so that's 8. So the 8 is the greater of the 2, so it's a degree of 8. There we go. Got it correct. So that is how you do the classifying polynomials part. So one of the things you have to do is to rewrite them in standard form. So this is where I think some of us are having some issues because we don't know how to put exponents. That's kind of like we got stuck with the fractions. So what you're going to do is standard form is basically high to low. So if I look up here, the highest term is negative 5x to the fourth. So you're going to take negative 5x. To get it to raise to the fourth power, you're going to hit the shift in the caret key or the number 6 key on your keyboard. And then it will take it up to an exponent. Then if you hit the space bar, it brings it back down. The plus 8x, I'm going to hit shift in that 6 key again to take it to an exponent. Type in the cube, minus 2x plus 1. Submitting my answer. We're excited. We got it correct. One of the other ideas is just being able to find the coefficients. The coefficients come from standard form. We know this is standard form of a quadratic. So the a is what's on the x squared, so that's a negative 1. The b is what's on the x, so that'd be a negative 1 fourth. And again, to get a fraction, you hit the slash symbol on the keyboard, and I'll turn it to a fraction, and then a 7. Okay, one of the other things you're going to look at is polynomial terminology. So this one asks, what is the leading coefficient? So it has to be in standard form, which this one is. So the leading coefficient is the value on the highest power term. So let's see if I can get one that's not in standard form. Here we go. So not in standard form, because x to the sixth is greater than x to the fifth. So the coefficient on the x to the sixth term is one. So that is the coefficient of the leading term. Again, it's not the first term in the problem. It's the term of the highest power. And you can even see here in their directions, put it in standard form. I believe the last thing you have to look at is determining the features of the polynomial. So what you're going to do is look at the graph. You're going to say, okay, the degree of this graph, well, it has one, two, three max and mins. So we add one, which makes it four. 4 is an even number, so the degree of the function is even. Again, they're also going in the same direction, so that determines an even. Since they're even and going down, the leading coefficient is negative. The real zeros are the numbers of times it hits the x-axis, so that is 3. And this has two maximums. There we go. All right. Good luck on today's assignment. Thank you.